The sum if is a great function, a powerful function. It allows you to look at one range of cells, pick out something within that range of cells, and when it finds any matches, go to a corresponding column and add up the values in that column. So where this first example is asking, how many jobs do the plumbers have? We're gonna go across to the list of trades in column D, look for the plumbers, and when it finds a plumber, like on row seven, it goes across to the jobs column and adds 100 to the tally. It then continues down the list, it finds another plumber on row eight, so it then goes across to the jobs column again and adds another 12 to that tally. And it continues like that all the way down the list. You can see the structure down here. It's saying equals sum if, lookup range, criteria, and sum range. They're the three bits of information you have to provide. That can be read as where to check, what to check, and what to tally. So let's come to the first example here and write the formula. We say equals sum if, open the brackets, select the lookup range, which is our list of trades, tell it to look for plumber, and notice how I'm just separating these with commas, and then the sum range is the jobs, I3 to I21. So notice how D3 to D21 and I3 to I21 are the same size. They have to be, otherwise you'll get an error. When we press enter, 304 is the total. Let's see some more examples. So how many jobs were given to Holden drivers? So here we say, equals sum if, open the brackets. This time we look at the list of cars in column C. So C3 to C21. We say, look for Holden. And when it finds any Holdens, it goes across to the jobs column, which is in the range I3 to I21, and adds up the number of jobs, 194. How many pies were consumed by the brickies? A bit tongue in cheek, this one. But let's say equals sum if, open brackets. Now what we're looking for here is the number of pies, that's the tally, by the brickies, which is the lookup range. So again, D3 to D21 is where we're looking for our match. The thing we're looking for is bricky, and the thing we're trying to tally is the number of pies. So G3 to G21, and that gives us 10. How much money did the plasterers spend on snacks? Here we say equals sum if. The thing we're looking at is the list of trades again. The particular trade we're looking for here is plasterer. And the thing we're adding is the price or the amount they spent on snacks. So H3 to H21. Close your brackets and enter. $90. So there's some examples of how sum if works, but that's it.